Founded in 1958, the name Rotosound was inspired by the unique process of creating the world-famous round-wound bass string. Now loved and admired by guitarists worldwide, and still manufactured to exactly the same high standards, Rotosound has developed into one of the most famous and well-respected brands on the market today. Rotosound's Jason Howe takes up the story. Yeah, my father um, was a musician back in the uh, late 40s, early 50s. And he went to see a film uh, called The Third Man, starring Anton Karras. And in that film was um, the zither music. After he saw that film, he decided to go out and learn to play the zither. And my dad being my dad as he was, he was always collecting stuff. So he collected a lot of zithers, ended up running out of strings. So it was a case of, well, I can't buy the strings. And he was an engineer. So he thought, well, why don't I start making some strings? And this was sort of mid 50s. And at the time, he was working at the Royal Ordnance Factory in Woolwich, you know, on lathes and milling machines, a bit like our workshop. And um, <clears throat> the story goes that every lunchtime, he'd be on one of these machines making little bits of a string winding machine that he would carry out at the end of the day in his suitcase, in his bag. And after about four months at home, in his shed, he had a string machine, a string winding machine. So, um, he started making strings, and this was in Bexley Heath in Kent. Um, at the same time, companies like Vox, um, Jennings, Burns were all starting to exist in, in that area, in North Kent. So one of the first orders he got, big orders, was from uh, Vox for guitar strings, you know, for the guitars, yeah, the teardrop guitars and stuff. And the first company that he started up was Orchestral and Jazz Strings, it was called, in 1958. And of course, what happened next, the early 60s kicked in with all the pop music and the Beatles and the Who. And people were looking for, you know, better products. There weren't great products available in the UK at the time. And certainly for bass players, um, they had this, they didn't have a lot of choice. It was kind of a, a very thuddy kind of bump, bump sound on the bass, you know. There was no tonal definition. And my father came up with the round round bass string, which was kind of pretty pioneering because John Entwistle saw it, liked it and used it and uh, suddenly the bass guitar was brought to the, uh, the fore, I guess, in the band. Well, I would say Rotosound is one of the top and most famous string makers, primarily because of our heritage and our history. And I have to say this a lot, but we actually make everything we sell. And um, I think in this market that, that is important, that we actually manufacture what we sell and we promote because we, we know about the product right from the raw materials right through to selling it, you know, uh, even down to the, the machinery which we designed. So we make sure that my dad's old machines in the 60s were made a certain way and I kind of replicated a lot of the inherent characteristics of those machines with our new machines, but with a lot more automation and computer control. So I think great heritage, uh, longevity, the fact that the company's been around and been through a lot of great eras of music, probably a few recessions, um, had a few tough times, but um, certainly 2010, um, we are more set up as far as manufacturing is concerned, uh, marketing, media, online presence has all really stepped up a gear this last year, which uh, we're all very excited about. Rotosound are the global brand leader in guitar strings and bass strings. Their unique tones define the sounds of some of the greatest pop and rock legends from the last 50 years, from The Who to Jimi Hendrix to Duff McKagan and Oasis. Rotosound's commitment to quality and innovation have made them the preferred choice of musicians worldwide and one of the outstanding British success stories. <laughs>